if you can remember vividly, I made mention of two major types of progressions we have in mathematics based on your level. And we saw that they divided into two, which are the arithmetic progression, otherwise known as the linear sequence, or the geometric progression, otherwise known as the exponential sequence. We've already done justice to the arithmetic operations or the arithmetic progressions rather. But in this lecture, we are going to consider the other parts of progression, which is the geometric progression. What is a geometric progression or an exponential sequence? This is a sequence in which any of the consecutive terms differ by a constant multiple or factor. And this constant multiple is known as the common ratio. So let us consider the sequence 6, 18, 54, and 162. So when you have a sequence like this, like I said while dealing with or while talking about the arithmetic progression, I said when you have a sequence, you shouldn't just jump into conclusion that it's a linear sequence or it is an exponential sequence. You shouldn't just jump into conclusion like that. We have to check. And for the arithmetic sequence, we saw the way we can represent them. While for the geometric sequence, we are going to use the common ratio to identify if it is a geometric sequence or geometric progression or not. So how do we do that? The common ratio is denoted with letter R, which is equal to the second term over the first term. It must be equal to the third term over the second term, which must be equal to the fourth term over the third term. And if we have more than that, it must be equal to a Tn over Tn minus 1. So that is how to solve for the common ratio and if they give the same value then we would have to conclude that the sequence is a geometric one okay so let us consider this particular sequence over here the common ratio is equal to 18 over 6 which is equal to 54 over 18 which is equal to 162 over 54 and of course r is equal to 3, which is equal to 3, which is also equal to 3. Therefore, we can conclude that this sequence or this progression is the geometric progression. So that is how to obtain the value for our common ratio. Let us consider another sequence to check if it is a geometric progression or not. So the sequence here is 20 minus 10 5 minus 2 number 1 over 2. All right. How do we solve for the common ratio? The common ratio here is still going to give us T2 over T1, which is equal to T3 over T2, which is equal to T4 over T3, which is equal to T5 over T4. All right. So what is T2 in this case? T2 is equal to minus 10 over 20, which is equal to 5 over minus 10, which is equal to the minus 2 over 2 over 5. And if you solve very well, this is equal to minus 1 over 2. This is also equal to minus 1 over 2. And this is equal to minus 1 over 2. Therefore, the common ratio R is equal to minus 1 over 2, which is equal to minus 1 over 2, and is equal to minus 1 over 2. So we can conclude that this particular sequence over here is a geometric sequence or progression. Okay? So that is how we can illustrate that. This is just the introduction to the geometric sequence. In the next class, we will discuss the nth term of a geometric progression. So till we meet again, bye.